Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the People's Champion. Your host, Don, I know everybody's very excited that the Mets possibly have signed Carlos Correa. You know, he's going to play third base here. Uh, he's he's going to be next to his buddy, Francisco Lindor, which is great for both of them. Because, as you know, when the Mets brought in some of the veteran guys, you know, last offseason, they really helped Lindor out a lot. And I think Lindor will help... A Correa adjust because he's going to have a very big adjustment coming in here. This is not Houston. Uh, this is not Minnesota. Now everything is all, of course, pending physical. I would mention this. The rumor is is that there's a there's an issue with his ankle. Something popped up about his ankle. Something that happened before he was in the majors. So he may have had a, like an ankle injury that may have given the uh, Giants a bit of a, a bit of the cold feet. Um, this was about as big of a shock. I think just to myself that I could see. Because I, I thought, I was thinking last, this was funny, I went to bed last night, yeah, nothing going on tonight. Boring night. You know, it's like, yeah, nothing going on, it's boring. You know. And 7 o'clock in the morning, I checked my phone. I would mention I got the first indication that there was some kind of move that had happened was on YouTube. One of my great subscribers wrote to me and let me know that, that uh, Correa was a Met. But, um, Hopefully we'll get this resolved fairly quickly. The Mets will give him a physical. Hopefully he'll pass. And that is, that is how it goes. It doesn't seem to be an issue with the Giants. The Giants today wish him well. It doesn't seem to be an issue with the agent. So everything is good to go, I think, at least on that side of it. The physical is really going to be the big thing. Now, 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 we have more rumors. It seems that the Mets are trying to get a bat. And they're trying to get another reliever in here. And I did a video yesterday about Liam Hendricks. And you'll see I'm giving credit to Michael Marino. Because he does a great job on Twitter and he posts a lot of stuff. And uh, according to him, uh, there is a trade discussion going on with the Mets and the White Sox. Both teams feel that there's a fit. Uh, the Mets are discussing James McCann in the trade. Uh, Liam Hendricks and the White Sox are also very interested in uh, Mark Vientos. So the possibility the Mets will get rid of a bad contract while taking in Liam Hendricks. Uh, they might have to give up another player. I don't know. I don't know how close of a deal this is, but it is something to keep an eye on. Liam Hendricks, as you know, he's been a very good closer. He's been one of the best closers in the American League for the last two, three years. He's been really good. Obviously, he'd come in here. He would be the setup man for this team. The Mets would then, at that point, would have a super bullpen. That's one thing of note. There was also some talk this morning from Mike Mayer of Mesmerized uh, discussing that the Mets are still looking at a bat and a reliever. And you can look him up. I'm not gonna note I'm not gonna note him here. But he had mentioned that the Mets are still looking for another bat. I think right now I would say that Michael Conforto is probably the better fit than he was probably yesterday, because now they have the balance with the with the right handed bat with Correa in this lineup. They could probably go and, and sign um, Michael Conforto. And they could put Michael in the outfield. He could play any position. He'd be great. And he'd be an everyday player. He'd be the Mets' third outfield, be the primary left fielder. But you could play him in center a little bit, play him in right field a little bit, DH in prime a uh, good portion of the time. Uh, who knows about his his throwing shoulder. But these guys, this guy could really help them out. And I think that that's kind of the name that I think would be perfect for the Mets at this moment. Some of the other guys, Duvall, I'm not big on him. And we know some of the other guys are off the board. Now I'm going to ask you, my subscribers, do me a favor. Uh, it has come to my attention that uh, some of my competitors on this platform, as well as SNY, which I knew about, have been stealing my content ideas on this platform. And if you watch their videos, I know a lot of you follow my competitors and you watch my videos. If you know I've done a video on, say, say Monday, and then a day later these competitors and SNY... Uh, take those ideas and pretend not to give me, not to that they came up with the idea. Please tell them to give me credit because they're taking money out of my pocket and they're taking subs out of my, out of my uh, total and they're taking views away from the channel. Okay. I need your help with this because now it's become sort of epidemic over the last few weeks and somebody mentioned it. I noticed it myself, but other subscribers have been writing to me and telling me that this is going on. I did a video on Correa nine days ago, all right? 
couple days later, two of my primary competitors did videos on him. If they do this again, and they will, and they watch, please tell them, if you're going to do this, credit the baseball hut and the great one that this is where you got this information from. They know I am very well in tune to what's going on online with, with our ball club. And I'm just asking you nicely to be very polite to them. Even during a live stream, just let them know that it is unprofessional. Some of them want to be professionals in this industry. You credit where you get it from. Otherwise, and, and I would say this. When I'm doing this on this platform as the baseball hut, I am at their mercy. Okay? If I was doing the comic book hut, I would, it, it's like nuclear war. Okay? They're at, I am at their mercy here. So my competitors, and SNY, I knew SNY did, took an idea from me a couple of weeks ago. I talked about something, and then a couple of days later on uh, Baseball Night in New York, they, they took one of my ideas, and they did it as a segment on their show. So I know this is starting to pick up steam. This channel is influential in a very interesting way, just like I was in the comic book world. Although, but I'm dealing with professionals. They should be crediting my channel if they're going to do that. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for bud. I'm not asking for anything. But like I said, I'm at the mercy of the platform right now because if I go crazy, I lose out on this. what I'm trying to do here. And it's a very different audience, obviously. But that's all I'm asking. But anyway, now I got that out of the way, uh, keep an eye on what's going to happen. Uh, there'll be some live... I think I'll have a live stream on Friday. Keep an eye on Saturday. I was going to do something with the football, but that might go out the window if the Mets keep busy. And I expect them to do some more moves. There's a big roster crunch with this team. They're now at 43 players. They have to make some moves now to get rid of some of the players that are on the roster. So, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate the time you take to watch. And I'll see you later and have a good day.